hey guys welcome back to my channel today I want to show you how you can get one hour curls um, if you have medium length locks long locks or even short locks anyone can do this so this is really really easy um, as you can see I I think this is about two weeks out after my retwist which is amazing that it's actually held up this long and it's mostly because I tie down my hair and keep it tied down because I'm home all the time so <laughs> yeah so I parted my hair back and gave it two sections and moisturized each section with my spray bottle um, you want to give it a, a good amount of saturation so that it has something to um, to form like the moisture has a way of forming the curl I also follow it up with the Alake Naturals leave-in conditioning spray, which gives it a nice scent. I love the smell of the Alake Naturals leave-in conditioner. Um, it's a nice light scent and um, it also helps to build in that curl um, that you want so badly or that I want so badly. <laughs> but if you want to choose to do this listen this is a great way to get some quick curls especially if you're on the, the go you don't have any time to set your hair overnight with curlers um, you can get a really nice look with this method and the longer that you keep um, this particular method in your hair the better your curls come out so I followed it up with just a little bit of oil I wanted to make sure that my hair was well moisturized so you can pick your favorite oil or you can just skip this step. You don't necessarily need oil. You can just spritz your hair, set the curl, um, set the curls and just leave it alone. So yeah, I'm adding more moisture because it just seems like the more moisture you add, the better. So here's the fun part. So now I'm gathering the front part of my um, left section into three sections so that I can cornrow my hair all the way back. I am not a pro at this guys so don't come for me <laughs> but um, it doesn't even matter if you're super neat with this because you're about to take this out anyway so you don't have to be really neat. The whole point of this is to gather up all of your locks in the best way possible um, and yeah gather them all up there's always that one little straggler so make sure that every lock gets into the cornrow but like I said you don't have to be a pro at this and you want to make sure that when you do this style that you don't do it too tight because then you can pull at your edges and you know what happens when you pull your edges too tight so um, yeah just make sure that you're doing this in the safest way possible if you are doing this with me so now that I'm at the bottom, look at that great cornrow. Like, really? That looks so amazing. Um, so now I'm continuing down, but you can actually um, stop cornrow. You can actually stop braiding here and simply add your rubber band piece. But I decided to go all the way down to the end. If you um, stopped midway, you would end up with like this little beachy wave curl pattern with straight ends that I think is really really cute um, I, I'm, I tried that many many times this time I'm gonna try something different so yeah braid it all the way down to the end and take a small black rubber band and just pop it on you don't even have to wrap it around twice just pop it on and it should keep your braid steady <laughs> of course I have some shorter locks that pop out but it's okay because like I said the whole premise of this hairstyle is not for the braid to be super neat but just to get the curl after you do this so I'm continuing the process again on the other side gathering my hair from three pieces and continuing down to cornrow there are many tutorials on how to cornrow. I cannot teach anyone how to do this. It's something that you have to do out of, you'll learn it once you continue it and you, you make it like a, a repetitious thing. Um, but yeah. 
so I'm almost done on this side it seems like I have um, a lot of straggler like pieces that are not all the way even I don't quite like that but it's okay because like I said this hairstyle is not about perfection and I'm trying to learn how to accept my hair even though um, I see little imperfections here and there so yeah as you can see those are the stragglers and they really get on my nerves because I really wanted all of my locks to be one length <laughs> so yep all the way down to the ends and you take your rubber band once you get all the way to the bottom and hook it right there Look how straggly that one looks compared to the other braid. Like, seriously. So these little black rubber bands are good enough to keep your hair taut without wrapping it around many times. Um, yeah, and I look like Pippi Longstockings, but it's okay. <laughs> because once these are taken out, it's going to look really nice. So this is what it looks like. Um hair is fuzzy but I don't mind I actually need to I, I should have kept this in a little bit longer I'm going to do that just so that also my retwist would last a little bit longer um, I realize when you tie up your hair your retwist lasts a little bit longer than if you keep it down but anyways here is the transformation clip we are ready an hour later so you take down your rubber band and you just gently use your fingers to loosen the braid and wait for it, wait for it, bam, okay, listen, you can't tell me nothing about locks. <laughs> this is why I love locks, like you can set your hair and, and, and an hour later look like somebody, like seriously. With my loose natural hair, it, it was a whole process to actually get something that looked decent. <laughs> so the other side is even more voluptuous and I'm so excited, all right? This style is especially great if you have grown out your roots a little bit more. Um, with this fresh retwist, it is kind of making my style look a little flat. So if you have puffy roots, even better for you. So here's what it looks like along the length of my hair. Loving it, loving it. Okay. <laughs> now, this is completely optional, but if you're, you know, wanting a a crisp finish, I guess, you can do your edges. Me, I'm not I'm not an expert, okay? So, like I said, don't come for me. <laughs> But um, I'm using my edge control just over there and, you know, brushing it back just to give it a different look, I guess. Um, even though I just, I really didn't need to do this. I could have skipped this step, but um, I wanted to show you guys nonetheless what it looked like. Yes, like I said, I am no pro at this and I've been doing my edges for years and still can't can't get a hold of these edges. It's all right though. I think where I went wrong is that I didn't tie it down, but it's okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. Really, really excited. I look so much better than I did earlier. Just a nice way to spruce myself up, even though I'm just, you know, being home right now on bed rest <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you have um been inspired to try it out yourself let me know if you have or if you did and yeah i'll see you in the next video later guys bye